Hey guys, today I'm bringing you three top penny stock plays for the coming weeks in terms of you can trade them and make an absolute fortune over the good news stories around them and the catalysts around them, but also they have fantastic long-term potential as well. All three of these companies today are operating in the hot fields right now. So you've got military technology, AI and satellites all included in these three companies that I'm going to get give you today to have a look at. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please smash that like button, consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in there. Catch you in there. Hey guys, welcome into the video. So here we have our first stop today, and that is GBT Technologies, ticker GTCH. And this is a technology company in the AI sector. So it has a market cap of currently $12 million, so not huge. Share price of $0.05 cents a share, currently down 5%. If you can see, it's kicked up a little bit. It has recently been added to trading 212, so you can get out of it. And it has 232 million outstanding shares. So if we hop onto Yahoo Finance, you can see that it's got 12 million in its market cap but it also has a revenue of $19 million. So it's actually, its market cap is actually lower than its revenue. And that is something that you don't often see in penny stocks or in stocks in general. And this company has got a lot of potential going forward. It's got patents in place. It is a technology platform that has a core technology in the revolutionary new platform, engaging new products in microchips via private secure protocol. It's got a fantastic field that it operates in, in terms of microchips, AI, integrated circuit technology, um, mobile applications, software. This company has the potential to leverage lots of patents to generate itself a significant amount of money. So going forward, this company is very new to the field at the moment in terms of trading two on two and investors are only just starting to become aware of it and it's had some a couple of good news stories lately with patents files and that is something that can definitely obviously kick a producer kicker in the share price but also the long-term longevity of this company is fantastic as well because they're constantly working on new products and I think this is very very undervalued in terms of if its market cap is only 12 million dollars but it's generating 20 nearly 20 million dollars in revenue that's not going to that market cap's not going to stay that low for very long and it's just waiting for a few more catalysts to get in place to really drive this stock forward. Now then, moving on to the next company today, that is Kraken Robotics. Now I've actually opened a position in this company myself. So it's Kraken Robotics and the ticker is KRKNF. And this company is in the military field, military technology field, dealing with robotics and sonar, which I'll come on to in a minute. So it has a market cap currently of $117 million, recently announced that it had a three and a half million contract in extra funding for what it is uh, trying to produce for some of these military companies and it has a decent revenue of 10 million dollars year to date in quarter three so it's got a little bit more it's got another quarter to carry on driving that revenue upwards this is all about future potential with this one and the future military contracts that Kraken could receive so the company has got a serious amount of technology in its in its sector it is supposed to be a leader in terms of that so you've got here what it actually does so far so you've got its catfish vehicle its man portable um, sonar vehicle the aquapix sea power sea scout sea vision laser imaging sea thrust and the thunderfish so all of these are fantastic new products coming to the market that military around the world are looking to develop so here we can see they've got contracts clients and partners in place with a whole plethora of well-known companies and government organizations so you've got the united states navy here parks canada you've got lockheed martin geomar uh, the C C canada's ocean supercluster the australian government boeing the government of canada husky energy and over here you've got the 
Canadian National Defence Organisation and the Royal Navy. So this company has got lots of potential to win some serious, well-funded contracts going forward. And if we have a quick look here, they're currently in pursuit of over $300 million of contracts in terms of in International Navy sonar upgrades, UAV upgrades with the US Navy, pressure tolerant batteries, 50 million there, supercluster seabed mapping, 19 million, offshore wind en energy, we know that's a high, uh, a, a hot topic right now, and then an acoustic signal processing programs as well, worth over $10 million as well. So if they start landing some of these contracts, that is a huge return and going to generate a massive spike in the share price as well. Now moving on to the last company today, and that is GSAT. So the ticker is GSAT, it's called Global Star, and it is a satellite technology company. It has already had a little bit of a spike recently, up to $2.15 in the share, sitting down from 36 cents back in December. And that is because obviously Kathy Wood has started going on about the ARK Invest space version and satellites and satellite technology companies have received a bit of a kicker because of that. The company is doing pretty well pretty well it generates i mean its market cap is in the billions and it generates a decent amount of revenue as well so if we have a quick look at its revenue so far it's it's earned over 127 million in its last annual its last annual report and there's obviously a lot of potential in satellites going forward we know this so hopping on over onto their website you can see that their technology is available in a whole range of fields. It's not just military tech with this one. You've got energy, agriculture, forestry, government and public safety, which is obviously the military side of things. And then you've got transportation, construction, and commercial maritime as well. So satellites are here, they're here to stay, transporting them into space with companies like SpaceX and Astra are making getting these satellites into orbit even easier than it has ever been. So that means that the bottom line of these companies is going to reduce so they can make more money. And that is where a lot of people are putting their, hedging their bets essentially on satellite companies becoming even more relevant than they already are. Factor that in with Kathy Wood and her space arc side of things and then factor that in with the amount of growth that we're seeing in the satellite sector anyway and the space sector as a whole then you've got space for huge growth here and then if we quickly have a look you can see some of their technology here so they have low earth orbit satellites in space that they manage essentially and they manage the time between all of those companies that we've seen to give them options to do exactly what they want to achieve then you've got their system in place, so they operate in the low Earth orbit, as I said, and they've got patented satellite path diversity and gateway diversity technologies to allow the customers maximum time with hands on the satellite equipment. They're developing a USP, so they have the advantage of 24 ground stations that serve as a bridge between lower Earth orbit satellites and the traditional communications infrastructure. And they provide connection for over 120 countries throughout the world. So that is absolutely huge. They're bringing, essentially making the world smaller in terms of satellite communications and imagery and making it all very much more affordable to customers and available to even more customers which is absolutely fantastic. So these really are companies to watch, that is for sure. So there we have it guys, three huge companies there with a lot of short-term and long-term potential that you can make a decent amount of money out of. You've got GBT Technologies, new on trading 212, getting AI out there and starting to build a business around that. Then you've got Kraken Robotics in pursuit of government contracts across the world with the US with the US military, with the UK military and the Canadian military, they start landing them contracts, they start winning big. You can definitely trade the short term good news on that and over the longer term make a fortune as well just by leaving your money exactly where it is. And then lastly Global Sat also a huge potential company. Space is the next frontier in, in investing essentially. Satellites are big business. Getting a satellite into orbit has never been cheaper and is getting cheaper still. So that allows this company to leverage even more of the market for itself and hopefully make even more money in the process as well with launches becoming cheaper and cheaper. Hopefully, some of them are new for you today. If that has happened, then please do smash the like button and consider subscribing to my channel and really 
drop a comment below if you'd had heard of these and which ones are you in. Thank you very much for watching guys, hopefully I'll see you in my next episode. Catch you later.